If you want to stay poor, please do not watch this video. In the last two years, I generated over a million dollars through various online businesses. And before that, I was sleeping on the basement floor of my girlfriend's parents' house. So I know what it's like to have like no money and I know what it's like to make some decent money. So if you wanna stay struggling with money, just keep doing what you're doing because you're obviously good at it and you're getting the results that you're getting. But if you wanna make money with the information that's already in your mind, like all the other rich people do, keep watching. I'm gonna give you three laws in terms of making money from information, from money, from things that are already in your mind. And these are timeless principles. And you see, there's all sorts of trends and all sorts of things that change in the world. Business changes, fashion changes, ads change, social media changes, algorithms change, all these things change all the time. But there are certain timeless principles that never change. They have made money and have been around forever especially when it comes to selling information, selling the things that already exist in your head, things that you're already good at. So I'm gonna break down these three laws for you and you're gonna get some money if you follow them. So we're gonna head over to back to the whiteboard or the blackboard in my case. Are we working here? Yes, we are. All right, so the first law is Do what you're good at, okay? Everybody has a natural inclination towards a particular thing, all right? And here's the thing, when you do what you're good at, you have a natural advantage over other people. Who do you think is gonna win more, right? If you have been interested in fashion your entire life and people always tell you you're incredibly fashionable and stylish and all this stuff, if you enter things to do with fashion do you not think you're gonna have an advantage over somebody who is just told like oh yeah it'd be smart for you to get into fashion but they never cared or have never been fashionable their entire life people have never commented on their style any of that shit they're not good at it you want a natural advantage you want all the advantages you can get so do what you're good at right you could be good at fitness you could be good at tennis you could be good at knitting you could be good at anything right? And people will pay money for it. And sometimes it's not tangible stuff. Sometimes it's soft skills. Sometimes it's speaking. Sometimes it's organization and productivity. These type of things people will pay you money for if you're good at them. And you're already good at something. A lot of people think they're not good at, at, at anything, but I'm going to get to that later on. We'll talk about that because you're good at something. And in my case, I'm good at speaking, I'm good at writing, I'm good at systems. I worked as a sound engineer, which is all systems, and business is all systems. That's the only reason I'm good at business, because I'm a systemized guy, and I'm good at relationships, and I'm good at teaching. All of those things have imported money into my life, because I'm good at them already. I have a natural inclination towards them, so I get an advantage. Now, you might confuse this for doing what you're passionate about and these are not the same thing okay good at is not passion passion is different passion is a fleeting thing passion is a big time emotional thing you might be passionate about counting blades of grass but that's probably not going to make you any money but here's the th maybe it might we live in a very interesting world but Here's the thing, your passion is actually trying to indicate to you what you're already good at. So if you can count blades of grass, you probably are a very organized, systemized and patient individual. People will pay for these things. They will pay for organization. They will pay for systemization. They will pay for patience. There are people, maybe their parents, right? And they just have no patience with their kids and they need to learn how to be more patient or people are short with their spouse or short with their employees or short with people they love because they're impatient. They will pay you to teach them patience because you're good at it already. You understand what I'm saying? These are all things that you can teach and all things that you can get paid from. And some of you may say, but Seth, I'm not good at anything. That's total BS, okay? You wouldn't come into this world without being good at something. So I'm going to give you three indicators that you're already good at something. So these are your, your three signs. All right. 
Your first one is Sorry about my writing, my mind moves quicker than my hands. For those of you who have been around for these videos, people always request for you to do it, okay? You notice, oh, you're so good at painting, could you just paint this thing for me? Oh, you're so good at making things sound good. I come from the sound engineering world, so it's like, oh, you're so good at doing these effects and making things sound good, could you do it for me? People ask you to do things that you're good at. They request it of you. And here's the next sign. Okay, you've already been paid for what you're good at. So in my case, in the sound engineering stuff, I started sound engineering at 15 years old and I was recording a friend of mine named Chris who was a rapper and Chris used to come to my mom's house and I would record him and I would record him for free because I was just trying to learn and trying to figure out how this works. And we got to a point where the music was sounding really good. <laughs> he even played one of the records for one of our teachers. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? Why are you playing this for a teacher? But he played it for one of our teachers and she was like, wow, this sounds like it should be on the radio. And I'm like, oh shoot, well maybe I am good at this. Then other kids in the school heard what was going on and they were hearing Chris's music and the quality of it. And some of them started paying me to record them. So I was already importing money into my life from something I was good at. You understand? So have people paid you for what you're good at? That is a very clear indicator that you're good at something. And finally, It's easy. It's easy for you. It's things you would have done anyways. Like nobody had to force me to sound engineer. I wanted to learn how to do it. It was easy. It was simple. I had an inclination to do it. You understand what I'm saying? So those are the three signs to demonstrate to you what you're good at. People requested of you. You've already been paid for it and it's easy. So once you know what you're good at, we move to the second stage, second universal principle of making money with your mind and that is zoom in a little here that is pay for knowledge i have never met anyone successful who has not paid for knowledge in some way. Everyone has been taught in some way. And you see, the thing is, I can't begin to tell you the amount of people who will not do this. And then I see them years later, and they're either in the same place they were before, or worse, because they refuse to pay anyone to learn anything. And it's because there's two mindsets, okay? I'm gonna show you. Poor people are always trying to save money because they are finessed by certain things in the world. Oh, camera froze. Camera froze. If you're, if you've been around, you know the, you know how this shit goes. I need a new camera or a new cam link or some shit. But anyways, poor people have been finessed and they have certain fears and all this stuff around money, which is a different video. I've probably talked about it before, but it's a different video entirely. So they're always trying to save money. Rich people are always trying to save time because rich people understand that time. Sorry, time is more valuable than money. Time's more valuable than money. It's simple economics. Watch this. Time is a finite resource. Money is infinite. Money is everywhere. They print it out of the sky. There's people making billions of dollars a month and millions of dollars a month. It's printed out of the sky. It's not real. Okay. It's a form of energy and you need to check my other video. You need to be dishonest to get rich in order to 
know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about lying to people. Just watch the video, come back to this one so you understand what I'm talking about. Money's energy, all right? You have a finite amount of time and it's less than you actually think. It's a, it's a long time, but it's less than you actually think because for some of it, you're a kid who can't really do much for themselves. And then afterwards, if you haven't taken care of yourself, and you're an old age, you can't do the same things you could do when you were younger. So you really only have a finite space of time to make things happen, which means it's way more valuable than money. Something that is finite is automatically more valuable than something that is everywhere and infinitely abundant. Okay. So your time is more valuable than your money and people don't understand this. Every successful person is paid money to learn things. And if you think you're going to be the exception to the rule, you're going to be sorely surprised. All right. You're not going to like what happens. So if you're fit, for instance, and you want to build a fitness program, it may help you to pay somebody who has already built a successful fitness program. And you might be asking yourself, Seth, why would they do that? Why would the person who's built this business teach me anything, even if I paid them? Aren't I going to be their competition? Well, one, that's why you pay them, because there is the potential that you create some competition for them. But most of the time, if they have sense, they know that you're not really going to be their competition. Why is this? Because of the current online business world that we live in, everybody has their own brand. Everybody is interested in different things. There are tons of people around teaching fitness, but not everyone goes to the same coaches. Okay. You might like Kino Body or you might like Dr. Mike Isretel or you might like Huberman and you'll go pay them. You know what I'm saying? But there's tons of people teaching fitness that you don't even know about, yet they're making significant amounts of money. So for you to think that someone paying you for your knowledge, for instance, is creating competition for you, you're thinking in a scarcity mentality and scarcity does not attract money. So you don't have to worry about that. So pay somebody and you might not only pay a fitness guy. You might pay somebody who's helped other people scale information businesses and get sales with information businesses like I do. So what you're doing is you're paying to avoid their mistakes and find out the right things to do without wasting all of your time. You're going to get great results in a fraction of the time. Whoa, damn. Sometimes I'll be talking too much. As y'all know, this shit is live, man. This shit is live. So the problem is that people want to use their time to make 10,000 mistakes instead of just spending their money to either make way less mistakes or make no mistakes. You understand what I'm saying? And like I said before, your time is far more valuable than the money. The money's going to come back. And a lot of people are afraid. They think people are scammers and all this type of stuff. I have never spent money on learning something and not gotten a return on investment. Okay. Learning is always positive ROI. Why is that? Because you either learn what to do or you learn what not to do. All right. By now, if you've been on my channel and seen some of my videos, you knew, you know, I made a significant amount of money in the OnlyFans business as a manager. I used what I was already good at, which is business systems and relationships to be good at that business. And I worked with one creator and our first month we made $400. And I was like, oh man, this is not, this, this can't work. We're just going to starve and die, I guess. So what did I do? I knew somebody who was making 60 K a month in the business and I paid him $1,000 for an hour and a half of his time to teach me about the business and ask him questions and all this type of stuff. And that next month, that one K investment turned into a five K month the next month. Do you understand? Because I avoided a whole bunch of mistakes. I avoided a whole bunch of crap that didn't work. Simple. I compressed the time it would have taken me to learn that stuff, got rid of all the mistakes. All I had to do was spend a little bit of money to make more money. Easy. The internet has tricked you into believing that all the actionable tech that you need in this world to get things done is free. 
that it's all free you know i'm just gonna watch youtube videos and i'm just gonna get rich it, it never works like that you have to give to get this is how the universe works you either give significant amounts of your time which i've already talked about or you give your money and you x and you and you decrease the time necessary to win you get what i'm saying so like i said before I have yet to meet one successful person who has not paid for knowledge. It's just part of the game, just part of the game. So finally, we'll get to one final piece, one final law when it comes to making money, particularly with your mind. All right. So number three is... iteration now here's the thing when you learn from somebody right they're only going to tell you make this a circle so y'all don't get confused they're only going to tell you 80 to 90 percent of the game why is this it's not because they're trying to hide things from you it's not because they have more secret knowledge that's really going to make you the money. It's because they literally cannot teach it to you. And I'm going to explain to you why. They can't teach it to you because you don't have their life. Their mind. Okay, you don't have their life, you don't have their mind, you don't have their beliefs, you don't have their story, you don't have their personality. You are not them. Okay, plain and simple, due to the fact that you are not exactly who they are, the path for you to win is not going to be exactly as theirs. And you might be sitting there like, oh man, like I'm doing all the things they're telling me, but it's not really working how it's working for them because you're a different person. Your beliefs, your attitude, your personality, who you are, what you're good at, your previous skills already are not the same as theirs. And that is why you don't get the same results, one instantaneously, or you get different results in general. You might make more money than them. You might make less money than them, right? But you're starting at a good baseline, but you got to add your own spices to it, your own life to it. It's always going to be an iteration, okay? It's always going to be an iteration. So you do what they told you, okay? You don't not do what they told you. You do what they told you because that's gonna set you up the right way. But then you're gonna realize there's things that you need to do differently that no one else can teach you. So they might tell you to send daily emails, but you notice your email open rate is like way lower when you do that versus if you send emails out maybe twice a week, you get a 50% open rate or something. You gotta iterate and change what they told you because the daily emails works for them and it doesn't work for you. Maybe they pulled, told you to post once a day on Instagram, but you found that posting twice a day works better for you. So you have to iterate. You're only going to get 80 to 90% of the game, and that's just how it goes. And it's not out of any malice. This is where you have to actually do your own thing. You understand what I'm saying? So I have coaches. I have mentors. I've paid for courses. I've paid for masterminds. I've paid excess of probably $300,000 at this point for learning and information and all this stuff. And I do what people tell me and I get results. But to get the best results, it's always been a slight adjustment of what they told me. And the same thing is going to happen for you when you implement these laws. So to recap, the laws are... Okay, do what you're good at, pay for knowledge and iterate, iteration. And that's that. If you are an entrepreneur who wants to make money with their mind, this is what I teach people how to do. I help people add $100,000 a year 
to their business through information, through things they're good at, through things that are already in their mind, through things that are easy for them to do. And how you get rich is with your mental powers. Once again, you need to watch one of my previous videos, You Must Be Dishonest to Get Rich. I'm gonna put that in the eye icon thingy majiggy. Go watch that video, it's very important. But that's who I help. If that sounds like what you wanna do, you can join the next realm if we're open. If you join the newsletter, my newsletter, the Income Alchemy newsletter, you will get an early invite right when you join. But if you don't join within a certain amount of time, you're going to have to wait till we reopen. And when you see this video, I don't know if we're going to be open or not. So join the newsletter because you'll automatically get an early invite. And that is that. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.